What's up everybody? Welcome to the channel. My name is Jay Yudlovsky. In today's video, we're talking about organizing your photos in Lightroom. It might not be as hard as you think, but it could get a little messy sometimes if you're not careful. So let's get into the video. So organizing your photos, think about it. As you get thousands and thousands and thousands of photos, how are you gonna find a photo you might be looking for? If you don't organize it somehow, there's no way you're ever gonna find it. You know, as I got started, uh, I had started organizing things by date, and after a couple years, I realized that doesn't work because I don't remember when stuff happened. You remember events and you remember different things that happen or things you were at where you took photos, but you don't necessarily always remember the year it happened, the month it happened, the day it happened. I mean, if it's a big important event, maybe you'll remember, but most of the times you won't. So the way that I organize my photos is more by categories. So I have several categories that I use uh, that I found that work, um, and I'm always kind of tweaking it over the years, and you know, it takes me some time to reorganize a little bit. But I think I have a system now that works good for me. Now you just have to find a system that works for you. And, you know, everybody's going to be a little bit different as far as what works for them. So I'm just going to share what works for me. And if it works for you, that's great. And if some other system works good for you, then that's okay too. So my photos go here directory up top. The next file down that I have is called around the house underscore all. And that's just for any pictures I take around the house or kind of random things that uh, I take pictures of, especially when I first got going, I took tons of pictures around the house just trying to learn my camera, learn my settings, learn how to take better pictures. So I had tons of that kind of stuff. And, you know, occasionally I still have around the house pictures, I'll call it. So I use that as kind of like a, a, a big category to dump stuff in. The next category that I have is called holiday underscore all. It's for all the holidays uh, that I take pictures at. Every holiday is gonna fall underneath that holiday underscore all folder. The next folder down that I have is landscapes. I have landscapes underscore all, and that's for any kind of landscape shot I take. Uh, sometimes I'll go out and you know specifically just go to take landscape shots, or if I go on a hike or something, landscape shots. Any kind of landscape shot is gonna go in that folder. The next folder that I have is called projects underscore all. And this is for any kind of special project that I might be working on. Maybe it's a Photoshop project, maybe it's a composite, maybe it's, I don't know, some special project, something that's like a specific project that I know I'm working on, I'll put underneath that projects directory. The next category down that I have is special events. So this is gonna be any kind of special event that you might have, uh, maybe you have, um, a birthday parties, you have uh, other special things you go to, anniversary parties, any kind of event that you would classify as a special event is gonna go underneath that folder. The next folder down that I have is called trips and vacations, and that's gonna be any trip that we take. If we go to the zoo, if we go to the aquarium, if we go on vacation to Florida, if we go wherever we might go on a trip or a vacation is gonna fall underneath that category. Then I have a category called work, and that's gonna be any kind of uh, photos that I take for my company or for work that um, any jobs that I do for clients, it's all gonna fall underneath that work directory. Now under each one of these big categories, I have additional folders that I use, but that's, that's the main categories that I use. Once I go inside each one of those categories, I started by using uh, the following format, which I'll pop up on the screen here. It kind of looks like this. It goes the date, underscore, not the full date actually, I'm sorry, just the year. So 2018 underscore, and then a description of whatever it is. And that description just needs to be something that I would remember. 2018 Florida vacation, or um, whatever describes the event that you would recognize so that you could find it. So underneath holidays, I have 2019 underscore Christmas, 2018 underscore uh, Valentine's Day or whatever. All the holidays are, are listed in there with the name of the holiday and the year. So that's kind of how I set everything up. And for me, it's been working out pretty well because if I want to look through all the photos, I can click that top level folder and boom, I see all the holidays underneath there or all my trips and vacations underneath that top folder. Now you want to use uh, folders and you want to use collections. So folders, I just basically set up a, a system so that if I ever stop using Lightroom, at least they're organized in some kind of folder. Now with collections, collections are a little bit different than folders. If you're not familiar with collections, collections are basically groups of photographs. 
you can have multiple collections with the same photo in it. For example, say you have a collection that's from Florida and Florida landscapes, and you can have the same photo in both collections. Whereas with folders, you can only put the photo in one folder. So my folders are my basic, you know, file structure setup where the photos are gonna live on my external hard drive. But collections further break it down and uh, we'll get into those two in another video. Break it down further on how you can organize your files even uh, more so, and the good part about collections is that you can also sync them to Lightroom Mobile. So that's kind of my setup for organization. I'll leave a little link below to a document that just shows you kind of my categories and how I set them up, and then you can go download that, and maybe it'll help you set up some files for yourself, or maybe you can tweak it and, and find out whatever works best for you. Hope this was helpful in just share, sharing my organizational structure and how I put my photos together and how I organize them. And I'll get into collections again in another video and we'll talk about how I uh, break things down that way. But when you're just getting started, you wanna kinda come up with a good system of how you can organize your photos so that you can find them because if you don't already have tons of photos as time goes on, you're gonna get tons of photos, let me tell you. So organizing and starting with some kind of system from the beginning is super helpful. So if you're into photography, Photoshop, Lightroom, and even a little bit of video and video editing, consider subscribing to my channel. And if you're into Lightroom and you want to learn more about Lightroom, how to use it, you're just getting started in it, subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be putting out a lot more videos on how to do all kinds of stuff in Lightroom. If you have any questions, leave a comment below, or if you want to leave your suggestion on how you organize your files below, maybe it'll help somebody else out there too. So thanks for watching the video, and we'll catch you in the next one.